If you or someone you know has diabetes, you know how very important it is to check your blood sugar and take your insulin shots every day. Well, now there are, new, there are some new smartphone apps to help you do that. Many of them are free. Joining us this morning to talk about it is Dr. Vadanya Bide. And she, uh, you've actually tried these out for, for some of your patients as sure, well. Do you sure. like them and do they like them for themselves? Are they useful? Right. Oh, yes. I think patients really like them, especially teenagers who are, um, who use their smartphones for everything, to text. And so this is a good way for patients to be able to track their sugars. So yes. what they very easily do is they um, enter their blood glucoses, their weight, um, if they're taking insulin, how much insulin they're taking, if they're taking medications, how much medications they're taking. So basically you have to do the blood sugar test with one of these kits. Right. That, you know, any diabetic is pretty familiar sure. with this. Sure. And then enter that information on the smartphone app. We've got a list of some of them that are available, and there are many, of course, on the internet, Glucose Buddy, On Track, are all these free? Right, these are all free. Now, there are apps that can be up to $15 per download. So definitely, it makes sense to try one of these free apps that you can see um, if you need all the features that are available. Now, patients on an insulin pump can also use these as well. Right, exactly. So you can record, if you're on an insulin pump, you can record the amount of insulin you're getting throughout the day. You can even graph it for your physician um, and if you need to give extra doses of insulin, say before a meal or before a snack, that can be recorded as well. And then all of this information can be either graphed and you can put it on your home computer or it can be transferred, it can be emailed to your physician before your next uh, doctor's appointment. Are you finding as a doctor that this is infinitely useful for you? It and is. And makes it easy? It is. And, and fortunately, you can review the records before the patient comes in. Um, so you have a treatment plan, and then the patients sort of have an idea of what they're doing. They usually have these beautiful graphs that they bring <laughs> in, um, and they often have an idea of what they should be doing. Is their diabetes well controlled? Are their sugars too high? Are there low sugars? That's the other concern that you, that you have is that whether the sugars are too low. Uh, now, for parents whose child has diabetes, you know when they're out of your sight, you really get nervous because you're wondering, is your child taking care of sure. their blood sugar? And sure. there are actually some alarms. Right. Tell me how right. those work. Right. Well, of course, teenagers with diabetes, they want to be autonomous. And we want them to be autonomous. We want them to check their sugars. We want them to monitor their, their caloric intake. Um, but sometimes, let's say a teenager is a, a type 1 diabetic who's, say, at a sleepover, who stayed up all night, who forgot to eat, um, and then their sugar is very low. So there are some uh, smartphone apps that will actually alarm either the doctor or the patient's um, parent and tell them about these low glucose sugars. Wow, that's going to put a lot of parents at peace of mind. Sure, sure. And then quickly, let's talk about screen readers that some of the, these apps have. Right. So diabetes is the number one cause of blindness in this country. And so there's a real need for screen readers that will actually um, copy the, the glucoses that are on a glucose meter and then insert them into the um, smartphone app and either convert them to Braille or to um, a voice um, uh, monitor or um, can make, a, again, a, a, a graph of the sugars. Uh, great information to right. know. And if you have diabetes or somebody you know has diabetes, you may want to tell them about this. They can talk to their doctor about it as well. Thank you, Dr. B-Day, for being here this morning. Thanks so much, Stacy, for having me.